Okay, I kind of ran out of time there, but let's go ahead and move on to our next question. So this one, we have negative 2x plus 3y equals 6, and x minus 4y equals negative 8. Well, step one is that we need to put everything in the same location and order, but that's already done. So we're going to move on to step two, and we need to um, we need to change both equations. We will have the x value drop out. So I'm going to go ahead and choose x to drop out, and here's why. It's a little bit easier for us to make x. Um, x's have the same opposite coefficients, right? Because all we have to do is multiply the bottom equation by 2. And so 2 times x is going to give us 2x. 2 times negative 4y is going to give us 8y. And then negative 8 times 2 is going to give us negative 16. Notice how I'm multiplying everything on that bottom equation by 2. Um, you'll have to do that every single time you try to create opposite coefficients for one of your equations. And so we'll end up with negative 2x plus 3y equals 6 over 2x minus 8y equals negative 16. We're going to add those equations together. So negative 2x plus 2x is 0. 3y plus negative 8y is going to give us negative 5y. And 6 plus negative 16 will leave us with negative 10. Um, we want to get y isolated, so we're going to divide everything by negative 5, and that will give us y equals 2. And then from here, choose the equation. Choose the top one or the bottom one. It does not matter. Um, and go ahead and plug in 2 for y, since that's what we just found. I'll go just go ahead and use the top equation. Um, and so negative 2x plus 3 times 2 equals 6. Now, originally it's 3y, but because y is 2, I just um, substituted it out. 3 times 2 is going to give us 6. Subtract 6 on both sides, that gives us 0. Divide by negative 2 to get x isolated, and x is going to be 0, so your final answer will be 0, 2. Now, we could check our work if we wanted to, but I'm not going to put us through that. And so, um, if you can, go ahead and pause the video and try examples 5, 6, and 7. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and start. So our first one here, we have 5x minus 2y equals 12. 2x minus 2y equals negative 6. Well, uh, because we don't have opposite coefficients, we do need to make one of our equations opposite coefficients. And what we can do is just go ahead and multiply that bottom equation by a negative sign um, because our y's already have the same coefficients, but they have, they don't, they're not opposite. And so if we multiply the bottom equation by negative, it'll make negative 2x plus 2y equals 6. And therefore, our y's are now opposite coefficients, so we can add our equations together. So you'll have 5 plus negative 2x, which will end up giving you 3x. We have neg or negative 2y plus 2y, and that'll be 0. And then you have 12 plus 6, um, which is going to give you 18. And then you can go ahead and divide by 3. Um, so that will be 6. Um, anyways, so you're kind of, kind, of, kind of getting in the idea, I'm hoping. Um, and then you'll plug 6 back in for um, x and then solve for y. Um, go ahead and try 6 and 7. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video. Um, but this is what you should have gotten. Anytime you have a number equal to the same exact number, you are going to have infinite number of solutions. Anytime you get to the point where you have a zero equals or a number that doesn't equal the same number, you have no solutions. So there's kind of an example of um, different ways you can get have infinite solutions, no solutions, or this first example, five, is one solution. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and reach out to me, but you can go ahead and start the activity. Let me know if you have any questions.